And heavy rain poured down upon Oak Creek as hundreds stood outside. The sound of bagpipes filled the air, and Officer Mahalski's body was carried out of church. That was followed by a 21-gun salute and the sound of taps. Ready. After taps, a ceremonial folding of the flag and presentation. As rain continued to fall, officers removed the American flag, draped over Officer Mahalski's casket, folded it, and gave it to Chief Morales. He then presented it to Officer Mahalski's wife. What followed was a seemingly never-ending funeral procession that made its way through downtown Milwaukee, passing by the building where he worked almost every day, an area normally bustling, Today turned solemn and still, the fire department unfurling a giant American flag over the route. Tom Durian talked to members of the crowd who gathered and some of them spent all day out there just for a chance to salute him. Tom? Yeah, Steve, people were out here as early as 1130 this morning. They braved the heat, the rain and the wind to pay their respects to Officer Milhowski. And I just feel like I should be here. It was really sad um, what happened to him. And it was important for me to respect them and show them that I care what they're going through. Christy Bars brought her daughter Micah to watch the procession roll past the Milwaukee Police Headquarters. I want to show all the policemen how much I care. Micah and others waved the red, white and blue as the seemingly endless number of squad cars passed under a massive flag with the sun setting on the horizon behind it. Just wanted to be here for him, show my respect. I feel bad for him, I really do. It just makes me really sad. Leanne Govas and her dog Lady donned their patriotic colors and walked in the driving rain across town to be here. Many came out of office buildings and MATC to witness the somber occasion. And this wasn't just any street corner. It was also the spot where Officer Mahalski's comrades, still on duty, could pay their respects and watch as officers from near and far pass through. That was very overwhelming. It was just, I've never seen anything like that before. From different cities to different people, the respect was palpable. The diversity of the folks that are watching this and paying their respects, yes. young, old, black, white, yes. didn't matter. Yes, yes. I. I I thought that was a great thing because it, it, no matter what, I, it's just a sad thing to see something like that happen. And a letter that is posted on the front window of this squad car memorial tonight sums up the feelings of many. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for getting up one more day to protect our city. Reporting live here outside the police administration building, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. A lot of people today saying thank you. Tom.